Hi everybody and welcome to a new Amazing Max Stuff video. This one is not part of the OpenGL series, this is um, kind of an old style tutorial. This one is about how to create um, a player, a video player, which mixes uh, one video with the next that is going to play. So we have a playlist of videos, we want to play them all in a row, but we want to mix between the video that is currently playing and uh, uh, the, the next one. So this is what I uh, found myself doing in the past uh, few weeks and uh, somehow it was not so uh, easy. It was somehow a bit tricky and uh, so let's see, maybe this can be useful for, uh, for you. So in order to play a video, first of all we need a JIT movie object. So let's create it. Um, with a JIT movie object First we want to check which en video engine we are using, for example I should be using the VDLL engine on Windows, this is the preferred engine. I think on Mac it's going to be HUP, uh, but the HUP engine we are not going to use in this tutorial because uh, we don't have any videos. Oh, nice, Max just crashed. So I was saying we are not going to use the HUP engine because we don't have any videos converted into HUP codecs, so we are just going to use... Uh, uh, the videos that uh, come from uh, from Max, and uh, we are going to simply use the VDL engine. So VDL. So let's just write it down. Engine. So this is an attribute for the JIT movie object VDLL. Then the next thing we want to do is to give it the attribute output texture. Uh, this will ensure that the video is output as a texture and not as a matrix. It means it resides directly on the GPU. This will make the playing of the movies much faster. We can play full HD videos in a much faster way uh, if we give it uh, the attribute output texture. But in order to output a texture, uh, a JIT movie needs uh, a RAN a context, a OpenGL context. So we need also to create uh, a JIT world object. So let's actually create it. JIT world movie world, let's call it. And uh, let's give it a uh, floating one. Let's give it the sides of the window. Uh, we don't care much about anything else, I think. So yeah, let's just let's just give it these uh, attributes here. Maybe let's enable it by default. So we'll be start by being on. Cool. Um, so then let's stay, let's say actually to the JIT movie, draw to movie world, which is our context. Okay, cool. So now let's start. Uh, let's we will display the video. Let's actually just send it to the JIT world object. So if we do something like that, the movie will appear directly inside the JIT uh, inside the JIT window here in the window of the JIT world. So let's see where, where are the videos uh, from Max. They are inside C seventy four media jitter. This contains all the video. So let's do something like this. Let's use the folder object, and uh, yeah, let's give it the path of the folder. So this should be C seventy four media jitter. Is this how the folder is called? The folder is called. Let's see that again. Ah, ci sono quattro. This is okay. So cool. Let's see if we get something out of this. Oops. So when we send a bang to the folder object, we should see all the file contained inside the folder, uh, which doesn't happen because let's try to give it the message types. Uh, without any argument, which means output all the times. Uh, yeah, now it works. So, so if we created it uh, without giving the types argument, it should not print anything. If we give it types, it means print every uh, every type object. Uh, sorry, every file with with every extension. So this will print all the stuff. Let's say that we are only interested in the mov file. So we will tell him. Output only the file names which type mob. So let's try again. Ah no, I think this this must, we, this must be capital letters. No, not even. Okay. So do, 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 do. maybe something like this. 
Move. I don't think this is uh, what we are looking for, but I oh, know it's actually what we are looking for. Cool. So with this move uh, um, argument for types, we will get uh, all the movie files contained inside the media folder that comes directly with Max. Cool. Let's actually attach a load bank to this object because uh, we want this to be called when the uh, when the patch is started. Okay, cool. And then maybe let's also send another bang to actually output the content of the folder. So let's do like this. First goes no. first bang goes to the type, second bang goes to the folder object. So yeah, we get all the we get all the movie files. Um, okay, let's think about the container where we can put the our movie files. Let's say that uh, we will put them actually inside the uh, call. This would be the best thing to do, I think. So let's do something like this. Uh, let's actually root clear because, as you can see, the first message we get is clear, which we don't care about. Or do we care? We could actually clear the call. No, let's do like this. Let's say root clear. And then uh, we want a way to, we have to, if we just do this, uh, we will actually not get anything because we need to give it a number for the call object in order to, for the call object to put the, um, the messages that it receives in a list inside uh, itself. So, you know, at least inside the call object. So, let's actually also root the append message. We don't care about everything that uh, uh, comes with append. So, outside of this output, we should get only the name of the files. Uh, let's see. No. Why? Ah, yeah, sure. We have to attach this to the append output. So, let's try again. Yes. So, these are the name of the files we are interested in. Okay, cool. Uh, let's maybe do like this. Let's maybe do a ZL group uh, 1000. So this will group all the files that we get. And then we can do a list funnel, which will uh, put a number before every argument, uh, every name of the objects, and uh, in this way of the movie. So in this way, we will be able to um, put those inside. Uh, uh, the the call object. So let's bang on the group. Okay. So first of all, we have to do two things. First, we have to send a bang. We have to send a bang to the uh, ZL clear message, which will clear the list uh, the ZL group object. Cool. Um, then after it receives. Uh, the names, let's put another bang here. So let's do like this. Uh, let's do like this. So, okay, the first bang will clear the, the ZL group object. The second bang will output the, the output of the folder, and the third bang will output the, the output of the ZL group. So let's take a look. Yeah, that's what we want. So if we send this inside the call, we should get the names of the movies inside the call exactly. Uh, let's do the same also with the load bank. So we just need to add uh, here a couple of banks. So first bank will go to the type. Second bank will clear. Ah, this actually we don't care about cleaning in the beginning because it's a group will be anyway cleared. But just because, let's do it. So the last bank will go to the ZL group. Okay, cool. So this is it. Now we have the name of the movies inside the inside the call object. So if we use like an integer, we can get out the name of the movies. For example, tuck, 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 tuck. Okay, cool. Um, now the thing is, we need to mix between these two video players. So let's actually first of all let's actually tell to the JIT movie object async read dollar one. Uh, let's first send this to a symbol and then let's tell him async read dollar one. So let's see. 
Uh, let's get the number zero. Uh, can't file symbol people dot moth. Maybe let's not use the symbol thing. And okay, cool. So, uh, okay, but uh, let's not use uh, the message. Let's use prepend async read because uh, it's better in this case because we could have like uh, names of movies that are separate words. And in this case, we don't want to use the dollar one thing, we just want to. Uh, okay, so what's the problem? Why does he have a problem with that? Let's see. Lading. Okay, so do it. Ah, oh, we have to root symbol, that's the thing. Uh, the call will always output the word symbol, so we first have to root the symbol thing. Exactly. So, zero, one, two, three, four, and so on. Okay, quite cool. Quite cool. Let's actually set the volume of the movies to zero for the moment. Okay, so if we go to zero, let's actually then use the two symbol thing because this could be actually useful. No, we don't care. So let's go back. So the cool thing about Async Creed is that uh, it will uh, load the movie while uh, we can still, uh, without blocking the processes in the patch. So we can still play the other movie on the other JIT movie. And uh, yeah, this is why we use async read and not the simple read object. Okay, so let's actually create the second movie object. And let's create another async read. Let's put it here. Let's actually make it a bit bigger. So let's do something like that. Uh, this your year, is your year. Okay, to alternate between these two, these two movie objects, we can use the cycle object. Uh, what does the cycle object does is simply to output Oh no, you know, you, no, let's not attach it here Let's attach it uh, Let's basically duplicate this call So this will be Movie list This will also be movie list. So by giving them the same name they have the same content. So let's fill them again. Okay, cool. So let's do something like this. Let's use the cycle object to basically send once the number on one side and the other time the number on the other side. So this is what the cycle object do. Simply alternates the output left and right. Uh, of course we need uh, like a counter object. So let's do like this. Ta -da -da. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, so always alternating the outputs, okay, cool. Hey everybody, I will stop here with this video, uh, this is by the way how the patch is going to look in the next videos, it's going to be, to get really messy, so for the moment I want to stop here in order to not make the video too long and, too long and complicated, so I just want to remind you, you can uh, visit my Patreon page to download some patches and uh, support the videos. You can also pose me questions and uh, get in touch with me through Discord. Today I had a lovely talk with some people from Patreon, which came to visit uh, Europe and Berlin. This was really a nice experience. So yeah, definitely Patreon is, uh, is a very nice platform. And you could check my, my page to, to see what I'm posting there. Anyway, thank you for following and see you in the next episode of this uh, mini-series. Ciao.